Blog Talk Radio. So, um, how would you describe uh, first steps to be able to separate yourself from what's happening around you and start reframing what's happening in the now? One of the things that I think is really fun, and I do it all the time with everything because I just love doing this, is to take anything that you think is true and trace it back to where it came from. I don't care what mm -hmm. it is, whether it's why you cut your food the way you cut it or where the clothes you wear or believe the religion you believe in or whatever it is, the way, way you wear your hair. Why do you do that? And what influenced you to believe that it's true that you should be doing it that way? And there was this great, great story that I read, gosh, years ago, that was so super about this. And it said there was a man and a woman who were getting ready to have this big dinner. They were going to have the whole family for dinner, everybody. All the generations back were coming for dinner. And so the husband was trying to help the wife because there was a lot to do. And he said, what can I help you do? And she goes, well, you know, you can make the salad. But he goes, well, why don't I just fix the ham too? And she goes, no, 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 you can't fix the ham. He goes, why can't I fix the ham? And she said, because you won't know how to fix the ham right. How hard is it to fix the ham? You put it in a pan, you turn it on the oven, and you, you cook it. She goes, no, 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 you, you have to watch what I do. And she said, you have to cut off the ends, and you have to position it in the pan like this, and da, 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 da. <laughs> so he said, okay. So dinner time came, and he's there with his wife. His wife's mother is there, and her mother is there. They go back to generations to grandma. So. Mm -hmm. He decides he's going to get to the bottom of this, and he looks at his wife's mother, and he says, did you teach my wife that you have to cut the ends off of the ham before you take it? And she said, yes, I did. And he said, why? And she looks at her mother, and she goes, well, Mom, why did you teach me that? She said, I never taught you to cut the ends off of the ham. And she goes, did you always cut the ends off of the ham? And she said, I cut the ends off of the ham because I didn't have a pan big enough to put the whole ham in. You don't have to cut the ends off of the ham. I was like, this is perfect. And, and that's what people do. And then they take it to the bank and they say, this is what's going on. It's always been this way. Don't you know that? <laughs> and yet the only thing that was wrong was that the woman didn't have a big enough pan. And so when we look at all of our beliefs about our life, and I have a whole series of videos on YouTube called The Territorial Imperative, and it's tracing civilization backwards to why do we believe what we believe religiously, uh, by culture, by country, by government, and it all has to do with land. Mm -hmm. Land means power, means money. Whoever has the territory has the power, has the money, and when they say, goes. So if you're on, in this land, this is the way you believe, this is the way you eat, This is the way you marry. This is the way you go to school because we own this land. And it goes all the way back to the case mandates. And it's mm -hmm. called the territorial imperative. Who, who owns the land? And when you really take the time to, to look at where things come from, you realize that the beliefs that you hold that you think are such great convictions and that literally do keep you from being at peace because they make the other person wrong, really have no basis in anything, short of somebody's mm -hmm. idea of how powerful they can become. Mm -hmm. And stepping aside from that and saying, oh, great, well, I guess I don't have to be this way then. How do I really want to be? How do I really want to feel? What would really make me feel yummy and good and just delicious? And creating your own belief system around that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Around what makes you happy. Yes. And that brings you peace and it literally sets you free. <laughs>